Hey guys. So I thought I would make a video about how I mix my pouring medium and how I mix my paints. So right here I already have a ready pouring medium, which is just Elmer School glue and water. And then I have my paints. I got brand new ones, so I'm filling the old ones 50% paint, which will leave 50% in these ones, and filling them with 50% pouring medium. So these ones I already did. It doesn't have to be perfect, so I just eyeball it and I will lift it up and see if one weighs more than the other. Okay, it feels about right. And my red. My red still has some left over, so I'm not going to put that much. should be ready to just pour in our pouring medium. You do want to leave a little room so when you shake it, it uh, can mix. Uh, I have noticed with red, it is a thicker paint, so you're going to want more water into your reds. Same with uh, white. And this was about half a gallon of pouring medium, and I still have some left, so it makes a lot of paint. Okay, you want to make sure everything's tight, closed, and just shake it. Okay, 
so I shook all of these for about a minute each. It is an arm workout, so be prepared. Once they're all mixed, I just put R to P on it for ready to pour. That's just so I know that these paints can't be used for anything else. Same with uh, my glue and water mixture. I'll put ready pouring medium on it so I know I don't have to alter that one. Now I do make these thicker for ready to pours because I like ring pours and ring pours you need thicker paint. So if it is too thick, you can always get a, a cup. Pour it in there. You can use more pouring medium or you can just thin it out with uh, more water and it's ready to go.